Report, Arsenal 1-1 Sporting CP 3-5 Penalties We bowed out of the Europa League after losing the first-ever penalty shootout at Emirates Stadium. Gabriel Martinelli saw his spot kick saved in the shootout, allowing Nuno Santos to convert the winner after a 1-1 draw on the night and a 3-3 draw on aggregate. When Granit Zaka fired us ahead inside the opening 20 minutes there was little sign of the drama in store on a long evening at the Emirates. But we failed to build on the lead and were punished when Pedro Goncalves scored an outrageous equalizer from near the halfway line. We came close to the winner several times in extra time, notably from Gabriel and when Leandro Trossard hit the post, before Sporting had a man sent off late on. Spot kicks were needed, and although Martin Odegaard, Buke Osaka and Leandro Trossard all scored, Martinelli had his efforts saved by Antonio Adan and the Portuguese side advance. Granite grabs the lead. After a fairly pedestrian opening 15 minutes, Gabriel Jesus, back in the starting lineup for the first time since November, had our first attempt on goal. Rice Nelson did well to curl in a cross from the right and Jesus arrived at the far post, but was unable to make proper contact with his shot and the keeper clawed it away. It was only a temporary respite for sporting though. Gabriel Martinelli streaked away down the right wing after being found by a raking Giorgino pass and headed into the box. His low shot was parried by Antonio Adan, but there was Zaka to finish smartly first time inside the post. Wearing the armband in place of the rested Martin Odegaard, it was Zaka's fifth goal of the season, his best return for us. Early changes. As we kicked off to restart the game, William Saliba was withdrawn to be replaced by Rob Holding. Takahiro Tomiyasu had already been replaced by Ben White as Mikel Arteta was forced to make early alterations to his back line. Sporting, fourth in the Portuguese top flight and unbeaten in seven games coming into the game, had started the brighter of the two teams, but our goal settled us down, despite the defensive reshuffle. Jesus looked a man on a mission on his return to the Emirates, and on the half-hour mark he weaved his way into the box taking on his markers before forcing a good low save from the keeper. But that was his last meaningful action of his evening, as he was replaced by Leandro Trossard at halftime. Long Range Leveler We started the second half as we started the first. Slightly off the pace. Gabriel and Holding both made good blocks inside the area as Sporting went in search of the equalizer. We struggled to get going again, and it was Sporting who took advantage with an extraordinary goal on the hour mark. Giorgino was dispossessed on the halfway line and Pedro Goncalves moved onto the ball. He took a touch, spotted Aaron Ramsdale well off his line and sent his shot looping over the keeper. And just under the bar. He was fully 45 yards out and the incredible strike sent the away fans into raptures. Arteta responded by sending on Buke Osaka and Thomas Party but the Portuguese side were full of belief now. The intensity picked up. Ramsdale came to the rescue when Marcus Edwards raced through on goal one-on-one. -on -one. The former Tottenham looked favorite to score, but our keeper raced out bravely to deny him, taking the shot square in his face. The visitors were on top now. Fabio Vieira saw his free kick saved and Granite Zaka couldn't rise high enough at the far post to meet a Trossard corner but Sporting were always a threat on the break. Extra time. But there were no further goals in regular time and with the away goals rule no longer applying, we headed for the extra half hour. Trossard had a great chance to score the vital goal seven minutes into extra time. He pounced on a loose back pass bore down on goal but his shot rebounded off the post away to safety as the keeper did just enough. Holding headed over at the near post from a soccer corner at the end of the first half. As penalties loomed. Party cracked a shot wide after the restart and Odegaard shot wide, before Trossard just lost his footing inside the box as we finished strongly. Gabriel had a header well saved then a shot from close range blocked in quick succession before Manuel Ugarte was sent off for a rash challenge on Saka. We couldn't find the vital second though, and penalties were needed to find a winner. Penalties Jeremiah Saint just scores 0-1. to 1. 
Martin Odegaard scores 1 to 1. Ricardo Escalo scores 1 to 2. Buke Osaka scores 2 to 2. Goncalo Inesio scores 2 to 3. Leandro Trossard scores 3 to 3. Arthur Gomez scores 3 to 4. Gabriel Martinelli misses, saved 3 to 4. Nuno Santos scores 3 to 5. What it means. Our European campaign is over for another season, meaning we have 11 games left this season, all in the Premier League. Thanks for your watching. Don't forget to click the subscribed button and hit the bell icon for more.